Hi, this is Annie from Saucy Social Media and I'm just going to show you how to quickly and easily add a custom Facebook tab to your page. Um, now, I'm going to also add that if you want a really professional look, it's a really good idea to have someone professional do this for you. In the meantime though, you can have a play with this idea. Um, and um, this, the one I'm going to show you today is, is the, one of the easiest things to do, which is to bring a page from your website straight into one of your pages. Now, this is one of my pages, of course. Now, this is what a custom app is. These are called custom apps, these things here. Now, they usually come and they don't look like that. They look like this or this. Um, these ones I've put my own pictures on. Um, if we've got time this morning, I'll show you very quickly how to do that. In the meantime, the, these each one of these uh, is like a, a navigation to a different pa page or tab on your your Facebook uh, business page, and you access them by clicking on this little this little arrow. And there's different things you can do with them. Now, today we're going to um, add what's called a the easiest one of the easiest ones to use and it's free I might add is called WooBox so you're going to search for WooBox and what you'll get is a whole heap of these just click on one of these like this and I'm not going to go through with this because this is my third custom app app on this WooBox custom app and each one you have to pick tab um, custom app one two or three so and you won't be you won't need to do this because you probably haven't done this before so what you do is you click install page tab and you'll choose your page from a list of um, pages now this will come up with a short list of pages that because I've got about 150 but most of them have got them on there so these are the ones that haven't so I'm going to cancel that but you would add page tab you would go through this all the different steps that that um, are, allow you to and create permissions so keep going keep going keep going until you get taken um, keeps just saying okay 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 until you get back to your page um, and as you can see I cancelled that and it's it's asked me if I want to install a different page tab so we're going to go back to here we're going to go back to that page where I have installed it because uh, as, you, as you can see you can uh, install more than one which is great fun so we come back to here and then um, and you must be using Facebook as you because uh, all apps all custom apps are uh, have to be used in the, f the first party you have to you personally not one of your page managers has to agree to it, it being allowed on that page if that makes sense so it has to be a, a person to person contract um, now we're going to go find it and what will happen is that you will, once you've finished giving permissions to um, to use this app, you'll be taken to this page. Now, don't panic, it looks a little bit scary. Um, it's not. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do, because we're bringing a, a page from a website in, we're going to allow the full 810 width. So enable that. We're going to ignore all this. We're going to click URL because we're going to do something that even you can do so easily. We're going to put in the URL of a page on my Annie Infinite site, which is my Book Me To uh, Speak For You page. Um, we're going to give it a limit of about um, 800 pixels. We're gonna check how that looks because we can always come back and tweak it, which is always fun. Um, we're going to allow the scroll bar so that people can scroll that page, no problems at all. We, we don't leave that off we leave that off because none of that really is is applicable anymore now that timelines in place some people still use it I don't believe in it uh, we're not going to call it welcome we're going to call it book me to speak and then this is I got um, asked this yesterday now I don't have um, an image uh, created ready for this but what you do to change the uh, image on it and I'll show you what it looks like in a moment you create a little image that they give you the, the size there 111 by 74 it can be a little bigger and they'll shrink it I promise um, so I always make it a little bigger and it shrinks down and the, and that way the the words are, the text is just a tad clearer um, click on that and it'll give you the option to upload that from your 
um, computer into into there and it'll it'll be pretty so we've done most of what we can do for now I'm going to save that and once it saves it's thinking <laughs> Come on, you can do it, I promise. Oh, I've got to grant permission yet again. Allow. Okay. Now that all that's done, we can go view tab. See this little view tab? Now what you'll see is this is an admin view, so your people won't see this. But as you can see, it's actually sucked a, a whole page from my website into Facebook. There you go, and I, uh, including the form, including everything that's there. See that? How cool is that? And it was easy, wasn't it? So, you can now create custom um, tabs. These custom tabs show up here. Um, sorry, clicked the wrong one. Now, as you can see, this is this is a generic. Um, image but uh, these ones I've actually created little images for and I've done similar things so what I'm going to do is I will create a little image there I'll go back in into that and all you do need, need to do as an admin is click on it and it's going to take you back into the the admin um, click settings so I'm taking you back in and then when I want to change the tab image I'm just going to click on that and it's going to say choose file from your computer and hopefully you've got one ready and I believe me by the end of the day I will so there you go I hope you enjoyed that and saw how easy it was remember the steps enable go all the way down to here click URL and put the a URL from your website in that you want to show and display on say Facebook and save settings couldn't be easier have an awesome awesome day and I'll catch you again next time bye for now